Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. Last week we started the Business of Belly Dance series over at sparklybelly.com. In the post, you saw lots of great articles that get you started with your belly dance career. This week, I'm continuing the Business of Belly Dance series and we'll talk about websites. To appear as a professional dancer, you have to have a professional looking website. But as a dancer that's starting out, you probably don't have the budget to hire a professional website designer. But creating your own website has become very simple, so even if you're not web savvy, you can do it too. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a professional looking website yourself. So let's get started. To make your own website, you need a computer with internet connection. It doesn't matter if you have a Mac or PC, it all happens on the internet. I recommend you follow the instruction as you watch this tutorial. Photos and videos of you that you want to post on your website. Text that you want to insert on your website like your bio. You don't have to have this ready, but having it ready speeds up the process. And a good chunk of time. I'd say set aside two to three hours if you're doing this for the first time. It's not that difficult, I promise, but you don't want to rush through this. So here I'll show you how you can set up a website in four steps. Step one, pick your domain name. This is the fun part. Go to my website, sparklybelly.com slash website and find this box. Use this tool to see if your preferred domain name is available. Your domain name is your website address, so that's like something.com. I recommend choosing something easy to remember and spell and make sure to use .com. You can claim other ones like .ca if you're in Canada, for example, but today .com is the standard. So try your domain name and see if it's available. For example, I'm just going to use my name, malbellydance.com. Click check availability and yay, it's available. Wouldn't it be cool to tell people your own website address? Well, you will be able to soon. Step two, sign up with a hosting company. You found a website address that's available, so now we'll set up hosting. Hosting is like where you keep all the information about your website. Just like how you keep your photos and music on your computer, except that it's all online. There are many hosting companies and I've used Bluehost as my hosting company for a few years for different websites and I've been happy with their price, service, and it's easy to use. If you use the tool I showed you in step one to pick your domain name, you can go directly to the Bluehost website by clicking next. Give it a few seconds. If you use Bluehost as your hosting company, you get one domain name for free, so that's nice. Otherwise, domain names cost you about $12 to $16 per year. Fill up the form and sign up for a plan to make sure you don't lose your domain name. You can pick different lengths of time for your plan. If you're unsure about how long you'd want your website, I'd recommend going for the one year plan and if you think you'll stick to Bluehost after trying for a couple months, you can upgrade it to the three year plan to save more money per month. The rest of the stuff is optional. One thing I recommend you sign up for is Site Backup Pro. It's important to have a backup of your website as you build content on it. So if your website ever gets attacked or hacked, you have the reassurance that you don't lose the content you spend so much time writing. Step three, set up WordPress. Now we'll set up a free tool called WordPress that lets you create a website without knowing how to code HTML. And it's super easy with Bluehost. So once you sign up and log into your account, you'll end up here on Bluehost. If not, it's hosting at the top and home. Scroll down to the section called Website and click on Install WordPress. Click on Install, then pick your domain name. I have a whole bunch on my account, but if you sign up for the first time, you should only see one that you just purchased. Click on Check Domain. This is not going to install anything to your computer. It's all happening online, and so you'll be able to make changes to your website from any computer. Click on Show Advanced Options. For site name, type in the name you want for your website. I put in 
Mal Colin, belly dancer in Vancouver, BC. And pick your username. You can use your email address or anything like admin. Then pick your password. You can change this information later, but it's easier if you set it up now. I'm not showing my password here, but once you type it in, check the other two boxes and install. It shows the installation progress up here at the top. Looks like it's done. Now if you type in your website address into your internet browser, you should see this. Your installation was successful. Yay, it's all set up. Step four, create your website. Now the exciting part, creating your website, and it's pretty easy. First, in your internet browser, type in your website address slash wp-admin. And log in using the username and password you picked in step three. Now you've logged into WordPress. And this is your dashboard. Now go to the top left where there is a little house icon and your website name and click on visit site. Ooh, so this is how your website looks right now. If you like how it looks, you can keep it, but we have lots of lots of options. In the next video, I'll show you how to customize the website and set it up to make a beautiful and unique website. So see you in part two of this video.